and welcome to Gaming News. I'm Roxanne People here once again to tell you your future in game, of course. First up, Uncharted 3 is getting at least one new map sometime in April. The map's going to be called the Ship Graveyard, and it kind of looks a lot like that scene in the beginning of Gears of War 3 where you're going through that big crack in the ship and um, like Krill come at you and stuff, and and you have to like go across the little beam that falls down. If you're familiar with that, that's what it looks like, that whole area, that inner part of the ship and everything. Um, but if you're not familiar with that, I don't know how to describe it, you can um, go check out the link below to the pictures of it. Another map was also announced alongside it, but it wasn't given a release date. The other map's going to be called Old Quarter, and it kind of looks like an outdoor market, or if you don't mind me going on a stretch, an Old Quarter. And like I said, even though it was announced alongside the ship graveyard, Naughty Dog, the people who make Uncharted 3, didn't say that it was coming out in any kind of bundle and they didn't give it a release date like they did with the ship graveyard. So, yeah. Who knows? Epic Mickey, The Power of Illusion was announced for DS and it's supposed to be like a tie-in for Epic Mickey 2. And there's not much information on it yet because uh, the actual announcement is going to be in the new Nintendo Power issue which is coming on next Tuesday. So if you want to hear more about Epic Mickey, The Power of Illusion, uh, just go pick that up on Tuesday. Minecraft on Xbox got a release date this week. You can pick up Minecraft from the Xbox Live Arcade on May 9th for 1600 Microsoft points. Still cheaper than those Modern Warfare 3 maps. What time is it? Adventure Time! Pendleton Ward announced on his Twitter this week that Adventure Time is going to have a game coming out for DS. This is super exciting news because Pendleton Ward's semi-insane drawings are always hilarious and everyone should love Adventure Time. The only people who don't love it don't watch it and that's the, the problem. I mean, obviously if you saw Adventure Time you'd love it. This game sounds like it's going to be really good, mostly because Pendleton Ward himself is going to be working on it. It's not like some third party took the name Adventure Time and gave it to some company to make. No, Pendleton Ward himself is going to be drawing it and like doing the story and everything. Should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited for this. Hopefully we'll see it at like E3 or like at least hear more at E3 or beforehand and be given a release date sometime soon. But it should be coming out sometime this year, which is just really, really exciting. A new DLC is coming out for Mass Effect 3. BioWare has responded to everyone hating the ending so much by giving out a new DLC that's supposed to have like a new ending or um, a change in the ending. I'm not really sure. They just said that it's going to add closure. Um, I don't want to give any spoilers away, so that's all I'm going to say about it. But new DLC for the end of Mass Effect 3. And it's supposed to change the ending or, I don't know, make it different or less rageful. I don't know. Assassin's Creed 3 has announced a special editions for Europe, and that should be the same for the US and Canada. But Ubisoft has before released Europe only exclusives, but it'll probably be the same. The best version you can get is going to be $80 for consoles and $60 for PC, and it's going to be called the Freedom Edition. With this, alongside a notarized letter from the US government saying that you're not a communist, you're going to get a 9 inch Connor figure, which is the assassin. You're also going to get a steel bookcase, George Washington's notebook, still no comment on the whole gay thing, or slavery, an exclusive lithograph, and two single player missions. First one's going to be called Mayan Ruins, where you're going to go explore Mayan Ruins, and you're going to be able to use Captain Kidd's Cutlass. And the other one's going to be Ghost of War, where you're going to get Pontiac's War Club. You're also going to get the multiplayer pack Sharpshooter, which is going to give you a new character, sharpshooter weapon, one relic, one emblem, one special picture, and the Jester title. The special edition I'm looking at is called Join or Die. And it might be because I'm a girl, or it might be because I'm awesome, you guys can decide, but this one comes with a medallion. A medallion! When was the last time you could use medallion in a sentence? Now you can! And at 65 bucks for console and 35 for PC, this is definitely going to be like the best option for most of us. Aside from the kick-ass medallion you're going to get, this version's also going to come with the Ghost of War mission, the Sharpshooter pack, and George Washington's notebook, all in different packaging from the Freedom Edition. And that brings us to the normal special edition, which hasn't been given a price, but will come with an opportunity to get the Flintock musket during a mission called A Dangerous Secret. Spoiler alert, the secret is you can only shoot every five minutes. All of this information can be found below, because I know there is a lot of it, and if you really like Assassin's Creed 3 and you want this stuff, I mean, you should definitely pre-order it and get the special edition, especially the Join or Die one, because it's going to be five bucks more than just getting the normal game, and then you get all that extra stuff. 
So you might as well just, you know, cough up the extra five bucks, get all the cool shit, and then, you know, go have fun with it. And you're going to get a medallion, so for God's sake, you could talk about that for weeks, just throwing a medallion into every sentence you use, which is just awesome. And I don't know how many of you guys read Game Informer, but in the last issue there was an ad for Assassin's Creed where if you go pre-order it, when you pre-order it, you get like a steel case for it. Um, that they said that there was limited quantities of it, so it might be gone because that issue came out a couple weeks ago, but you might as well go check it out anyway, just because it's free. All you have to do is just pre-order it if you're going to pay for it anyway, whatever. And that's pretty cool that you get it like when you pre-order it. I don't, I don't remember that ever happening, like where you get a physical item when you pre-order something, but whatever. That's cool. And I think that Assassin's Creed 3 is really working hard to get our pre-orders, and they deserve it, because they're giving us a bunch of cool stuff. And, you know, when game companies do cool things, we have to support them, or else they're never going to do it again. So, pre-order it. Pre-order it now. Well, that's all the news I have for you guys this week. I know it was kind of short. Next week and the week after, there will be no video, because I'm going to be busy with a space night at Waffle House. But after that, I'll be back on, and we'll go back to our regular schedule of every Wednesday having gaming news. So... Don't miss me too much, I'm just the biggest geek you know.